In today's video, I am going to discuss about the recurrence relations and this topic is from discrete mathematics. See here, according to the definition, an equation that expresses a n in terms of one or more of the previous terms of the sequence, namely a0, a1, a2 and so on a n for all integers where n is greater than or equal to n0 where n0 is a non-negative integer is called a recurrence relation for the sequence a n or the difference equation. See here, it's so simple here if you understand an equation that expresses a n in terms of one or more of the previous terms of the sequence. So, a n is expressed in terms of one or more of the previous terms of the sequence namely a0, a1, a2 and so on a n minus 1 for all integers. So these are all the integers where n value is greater than or equal to n0 where n0 is non-negative which means a positive integer is called a recurrence relation for the sequence a n or a difference equation. So the example for this is the recurrence relation for the Fibonacci sequence. So, fn is given as fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. So, this is the recurrence relation. So, example for this is. So, the initial conditions f0 is equal to 1 and f1 is equal to 1. So, n value should be greater than or equal to 2. So, f0 is given. So, here f0 is 1 is given, f1 is given. So, the second one here is f2. So, here we have to put n is equal to. See here n is equal to 2. If I keep n is equal to 2. So, this will be 2 minus 1 plus this is 2 minus 2. So, f2 value will be, f2 value will be, this is f1 plus f0. So, f2 value is equal to, what is f1 here? f1 is 1 and f0 is again 1. Therefore, we got f2 value as equal to 2. So, after getting f2 is equal to, so after getting f2 is equal to 2 and let's get started with n is equal to n is equal to 3. So, here if n is equal to 3, what happens? So, in the same equation, if n is equal to 3, if we put n is equal to 3, then see what happens here. So, f n plus this is f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2. So, if I keep, so here it is, is equal to, so f 3 is equal to, this is f 3 minus 1 plus f 3 minus 2. So, F3 value is equal to, this is F2 plus F1. So, we have F2 value and F1 value. So, F3 value is nothing but what is F2 here? So, F2 is equal to 2 and what is F1 here? So, F1 value is 1. So, this value is 1. Therefore, we got F3 value as 3. See here, F3 value we got as 3. So, we have F0 value is equal to 1, sorry, 0. It's 1 only. And f1 value is equal to 1. So, we got f2 value. So, we have to add up these two. So, this will be 2. And what is our f3 value? So, we have to add these previous two terms. 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. And next one here is if we keep n is equal to 4. See here if we keep n is equal to 4 in this equation. So, this will be fn is equal to this is fn minus 1 plus f n minus 2. So, if I keep n is equal to 4, then f 4 value will be, this is 4 minus 1 plus this is 4 minus 2. So, our f 4 value, so f 4 value will be, this is 3 plus this value is 2. So, f 4 value, what is f 3 value? f 3 value is nothing but 3. So, 3 plus what is f 2 value? This is 2. So, which is equal to f 4 value is equal to, this value is equal to 5. So, after getting f4, so we have f4 value as 5. So, next for f5, so we have to add up these two. And let's see, if we keep it in this, so n is equal to 5. So, fn as usual, fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2. So, here f5 value will be, so this is 5 minus 1 plus this value is 5 minus 2. So, our f5 value is nothing but this is f4 and this value is nothing but f3. So, we have all these values. f5 is equal to what is our f4? 5. f3 value is 3. This is 5 plus 3. The value here f5 value is equal to 8. 
so we got a 5 value as 8 therefore and so on so if we keep on substituting like that so if we keep on substituting like that so we'll be getting the sequence therefore the sequence here is this is the sequence therefore the sequence here so what is that sequence here f0 f1 f2 that is 1 1 2 3 5 and next one 3 plus 5 this is 8 and so on and so on is called this is called Fabino C. So this is called Fabino C sequence. Fabino C sequence. Therefore, the recurrence relation, the recurrence relation. The recurrence relation for the Fibonacci sequence is the recurrence relation for the Fibonacci sequence is nothing but Fn is equal to this is Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. So, with initial conditions here, n should be greater than or equal to 2. With the initial values, f0 is equal to 1 and f1 is again equal to 1. So, this is the sequence of the Fibonacci sequence and this is the recurrent relation. So, this is the example. See here, if you observe with the definition here, the equation that expresses so, this is an, an equation that expresses a n in terms of one or more of the previous terms. See here, one or more of the previous terms. The term f3 can be expressed with one or more of the previous terms that is f1 and f2. Previous terms of the sequence, namely a0, a1, a2, a3 and so on, a n minus 1. For all the integers, n greater than or equal to n0, where n0 is a non-negative, which means a positive integer is called the recurrence relation for the sequence a n. So, this is the sequence. The sequence for the Fibonacci sequence. This is the Fibonacci sequence. So, this is a n and the recurrence relation is nothing but f n which is expressed in terms of the previous two terms that is f naught is equal to 1 and f n is equal to 1 where n value should be greater than or equal to 1. So, this is uh, nothing but the recurrence relation and the values obtained we got is the recurrence sequence. And the next example here is See here example, find the recurrence relation and basis for the sequence 1, 3, uh, 1, 3, 3 square, 3 cube and so on. So here is the solution. So according to the A n sequence, so if this is the A n sequence, so which is expressed as 1, 3, 3 square, this is 3 cube plus and so on. So this is expressed as A0, A1, A2, A3 and so on. When coming to A0, so this is nothing but 1. So when coming to A1, so this is nothing but 3. And the th 3 can be expressed as. So here A0 can be expressed as a 3 into 1. So what is this 1? A0. So here this is. 1 is nothing but A0. And next coming to A2. So what is A2 here? From the sequence A2 is nothing but 3 square. So here A2 can be expressed as. So A2 can be expressed as 3 square is nothing but 3 into 3. And next coming to A3. So the third, third one A3 is nothing but A cube. So this is 3 cube. So 3 cube can be expressed as A3 is equal to this is 3 into this value is 3 square. And next A4. So A4 value will be this is 3 power 4. So which can be expressed as A power 4 can be expressed as 3 into 3 cube. So the next one here is a power 5. So a power 5 is definitely 3 power 5 and it can be expressed as this is 3 into this is 3 power 4. And if you observe properly then what is it I have done here. So a1 can be expressed as. So a0 the first value is like this and a1 can be expressed as 3 into the previous term a0. And next a2 can be expressed as that is 3 into. So what is this a1? a1 term is nothing but 3. And a3 is expressed as 3 into what is 3 square? 
So 3 square is nothing but A2. So this is A2. And A4 can be expressed as 3 into 3 cube. What is 3 cube here? A3. And next A power 5 can be expressed as this is 3 into what is 3 power 4? This is A power 4. So the term here is expressed in terms of the previous one or more terms. So here I have taken one or more term. So and so on. If you continue this process like this. So it will be and so on. Therefore the recurrence relation can be written as. Therefore the recurrence relation. Therefore the recurrence relation is nothing but. A n can be expressed as 3 times of the previous term A n minus 1. And the basis or the initial condition, the initial condition with the initial condition, see here the initial condition, what is this? A naught is equal to 1. So this is how we have to frame the terms which is related to the previous term. So here a n can be expressed as the initial condition a naught is given as 1 and whereas a 1 is expressed as 3 times of the previous one, 3 times of the previous one. Therefore, it is expressed as a n is equal to 3 times of a n minus 1 the term. So this is the recurrence relation and these are the initial conditions and I am going to solve many more problems in this series. Have a look at those. Hope you all got an idea on what is the recurrence relation and how it is expressed and how it is framed as a, the sequence. As it is a sequence and this is nothing but the difference equation. So this is what I want to tell you today and I will be uploading many more videos. Please have a look at those and it will be very helpful for your preparation. Please pass it on to your friends, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel.